up everybody, it's me Alexa and we're on to our final Marvel reaction of this weekend um, and from the Disney Investor Day uh, what if first look so this is probably the show that I know the least about of all the ones I've reacted to but I'm also very very intrigued because I know it's all about like the title kind of says it all it's what if what if this happened what if that happened um, and it's gonna be turned into a TV series so I'm very very intrigued to learn a bit more about it because yeah this is definitely the one that I know the least about so it'll be really intriguing to see and kind of learn a bit more about the concept this one's not coming until summer of 2021 so we have a bit of a wait before it comes out uh, not too long I mean that's really not that far away just half a year um, <laughs> and so I'll be intrigued to see uh, what else comes out and also what this has to say these first two minute look into it really quick before I jump in I want to let you all know about our website so we have a website greatweightingco.com where we post a whole bunch of articles about games movies entertainment news whole bunch of stuff so make sure to go over check it out we have so many different articles i'm sure there's one that'll interest you so hit that link in the description and find out all right so now without further ado let's jump right on into this space time i like the animation style it's more than a linear path it's a prism of endless possibility that doesn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> oh, the music, so good. I was promised an army. That's British. <laughs> you have a super soldier. Very cool. cool. You sure don't seem too freaked out about all this, kid. What you doing out there all by yourself anyway? Exploring hey. the world. Sounds fun. But why stop at one world when we can show you all of them? Cool. I am the Watcher. Guide through these vast new realities. Follow me and dare to face the unknown. Ooh. And ponder the question What if? Oh, I love it. Give me the tour. I love that concept so, so, so much because there's so many possibilities with that. And I don't know if it's going to be like everything is all one story. Maybe there's a few couple ones or like, what if this happened, then it'd be this. What if this other thing happened, then it'd be this, you know, um, or I don't know if just a whole bunch of what if instead of that was this all in one world. Um, you can't really tell from this because they did show a few different things happening. We don't know if that'll be like one storyline or another. Seems like we might have a narrator character maybe from The Watcher. I'm not positive. But from that final moment of the trailer, it almost makes it seem like maybe he'll be the overarching uh, storyteller that we have throughout the series um, where he's telling us what if it was this maybe. That'd be kind of cool that maybe the start of each episode like began with him like well what if it was a woman in Britain <laughs> instead of Captain America um, and then we get that story for that episode and then you know so on and so forth. Um, so I'll be interested to see uh, what the formatting is of that. Either way I'm excited <laughs> most definitely. I think that this I love the animation style of it the colors the I mean the music was great got the Marvel cinematic music it was wonderful um but the way that it looked visually was so appealing and just so simple the animation style very like comic book-esque style um while also being very three-dimensional i think the biggest thing getting used to will be the different voices for characters um it seems like there's a lot of different voice actors than uh what we are used to in the movie and also just the slightly different looks of characters um but it should be really cool. I mean, it's definitely a lot of characters that we recognize in there and also a lot that we don't, which is so exciting. I mean, I think this one is similar to those other teasers. Um, I've made a lot more questions than answers, definitely. 
uh, which is not a bad thing because it makes me then really want to watch the show so I can learn all those answers. I mean, they're really well done trailers. Um, since this is my last one, I'll kind of talk a little bit all about all of the ones that I just watched, all four, um, with the Loki, Falcon and Winter Soldier, and um, WandaVision 2. I mean, they all do such a good job of setting up the world and like the base, like very base, bare minimum concept of what it's going to be about, like just introducing it to us while also not giving away like anything. So I'm really excited to see how uh, what ends up happening in all these shows because I still don't know. I mean, they do a great job of setting up questions to really get the audience excited to watch it and find out these answers. And this one, again, just did a spectacular job with that. And, I and uh, then the added addition of it being that animated style, which I'm a big fan of. I love live action stuff, but animated series, I think, can have a really, like, unique charm to them and I'm really excited to see how this one does with it. I like the style of the animation definitely from this trailer and I'm excited to see full episodes of that um, and how the beautiful colors and just the drawing style of it. That Watcher character, I really love the voice and the picture of him like with the galaxy. I think that that's going to be really really cool. I don't know, the whole concept of it. The whole concept of this show I think to me is the most fascinating because it holds the most amount of possibilities. Of course, those other shows have a lot of things they can do with it, but they also are held to like the rules of their characters that are already pre-established, while this can do whatever it wants. I mean, it's literally a what if. Like, so they can say, what if this happens? Well, then it'd probably be like this and just do whatever they want to all the characters. I mean, we saw it looked like a zombie Captain America in there, which is, you know, not something you often see. <laughs> and so... It'll be so, I think, just fascinating and intriguing to see all the different possibilities and all the different ways that the show can go. Because there's so, so much that it can do. It just, it really has like infinite possibilities. And it's one, if they do it in the style where it's like different stories, maybe even just each season if they did it and there's like a different what if that's posed or a different set of what ifs that are um, posed in order to create that season then they could keep doing this for a really long time with all the different ideas and all the different what ifs that fans and creators have about the series like what you know because you create these characters but then maybe like a couple years later you're like wait what if it was like this instead and there's so I mean you could just do that forever and so as long as they keep it good <laughs> which I'm gonna hope that they do um you know always stop at some point once you're running out of ideas like what if their uniform was pink like then stop um <laughs> but that was the stupidest example that popped in my head but uh <laughs> as long as they're maintaining like really actually intriguing and fascinating what ifs I think that this could keep going on for quite a while and be extremely fascinating and entertaining to watch for sure all right though I think that that is all I have to say about this what if first look thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did feel free to hit that like button subscribe and while you're down there check out the link to our website in the description all right hope y'all are staying safe out there and have an absolutely amazing day bye